Hello, I'm here with David, who visited us, came here uh, for an operation. Uh, David is about to leave tomorrow, so uh, we wanted to make a little interview. Is it okay? Yes. <laughs> uh, to ask about uh, the experience and what happened here uh, in Poland. So um, maybe you can just say in a few words uh, what kind of uh, surgery you had. Knee, knee replacement, which has gone very well. Everybody, everybody here has been, been excellent. The surge, from the surgeon through to the nurses and the people who are non, non-medical staff as well. They, they could not do enough for you. Uh, it's an interesting thing because um, you can compare your l- right leg mm-hmm. to your left leg because you've already been through the knee replacement surgery. So uh, previously you had it through NHS, right? Yes, I, I had it through the first operation was done through the NHS, but it, I was moved out of the area and I had it done in a private hospital in Scotland. <clears throat> but I would say that my left knee, the, the care I've had afterwards, has been, the physiotherapy especially, has allowed me to walk much better now than I did when I left the hospital before. I was only in the hospital three days after surgery before, where this time I'm maybe 10 days. And with the physiotherapy, I recommend everybody to take that additional time to get to physiotherapy. What can you do now with the leg, I, more or less? I can, I can walk, I can walk with one crutch, no problem, which I couldn't after the previous knee operation. And also the stairs. Stairs? Oh yeah, I can, I can go up and down the stairs, no problem I think at all. it happened on the fifth day? Fifth day, or yes. Something like this. Yeah, I went, I went up and down the stairs on the fifth day and no problem. And Since then I have been improving each day and I am now at a stage where I'm wanting to go home but I'm very happy I stayed to to get the additional physiotherapy. I'm much stronger and happier with with the outcome of the operation. It's it's great to hear it. Uh, I also want to ask uh, how it was from the very beginning. How did you find us? What was your experience regarding the qualification and the contact with us? Okay. Um, I, I knew for a long time that I was needing an, another knee replacement. And when I find out officially, yes, I do, do need one, but there is no chance to, to get one in the NHS for quite a period of time. I looked into other ways of how I would get this done. And I was going through surfing the internet and I find out about about your hospital mm-hmm. on the internet and it was one of the ones that first came up and I read about it and I read about the um, European Medical Directive that the cost of the operation can be paid for by the NHS and uh, this I looked into and I was very lucky. I got, I got accepted onto the scheme three days before Brexit. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three days. You were lucky. Yes, yeah. that's true. And uh, since then, um, I have. It has been COVID that has stopped me mm. until this time to come. But I looked at various hospitals in Europe, and this was far the best best one in terms of what they offered. Plus, they got back to you. Maya would get back to you within minutes, or if not hours. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's it's true that you were quite lucky and we really hope in the future the option of uh, getting mm-hmm. reimbursement for the private uh, treatment abroad will be resumed yes. because it's a big chance and mm-hmm. we believe that it's a win-win for yes. everyone. So we hope that they mm-hmm. will somehow get to the point yes. after uh, dealing with COVID-related issues, yes. they will finally get to giving the option back. Yes. Uh, so uh, my question is, were you afraid of anything before coming here? No. And what, oh, no. <laughs> so you couldn't be that brave. Anything? No. No, no. Uh, apprehensiveness before going no. for treatment to the no. different country? No. Okay. I, I, I knew, I, I've had one operation before, I knew what it was like. Okay. 
And when I was here, it was too late. Okay. <laughs> it had to, had to happen. So um, I, no, no problems. And do you maybe have any message for people who are still wondering where to go or mm -hmm. maybe to people who've already decided but looking for a place to undergo the operation? So uh, any tips for, for the future patients? Yeah, I mean, I would recommend anybody to come here. The, the, the first class service you receive, the customer service, the medical attention. I mean, where else do you have your your surgeon changing your dressing for the first four days. It's, you would not get that in Britain. And uh, apart from that, everybody has been, been great. They, they, they could not do enough for you. And I r fully recommend this hospital, and I'm sure there are others as well that will be, be as good, but certainly do not be afraid to come here. Maya is like having a personal secretary. She, she does everything for you. <laughs> she does everything for you and uh, she has not been wrong yet and I will be back home tomorrow night and I will be very happy and very thankful to Maya. Thank you. So we'll be definitely looking forward for some feedback after yes. uh, the next weeks yes. of the recovery. Uh, and thank you for this little interview. Thank you. <laughs>